Today I'm going to show you how to create shirt designs like Hellstar so that you can apply this technique to your own clothing brand. Let's go! Before we jump into the tutorial guys, make sure you download this assets pack from my store, link in the description below. We will be using them later in this tutorial and don't worry, it is 100% free. Just put zero in the price box before you check out. In return, like this video and subscribe if you haven't done it already. It really helps this channel grow so that I can keep making videos like this. This tutorial is quite complex guys, so I will skip through the basic stuff. Um, if you're a total beginner, then try to keep up. Anyway, the file size we're working with today is a tool, which is 4961 by 7016 pixels. But officially, Hellstar uses jumbo print. That's how they achieve that huge print area. But no worries, A2 is perfectly enough for now. All right, so we're going to load up the assets that I told you guys to download earlier. Except this Spike BNG, I tried to keep the tutorial short and packed. So we're gonna, not going to do that today, but if you want to use them, then go ahead. So I'm going to open these files and then just drag them one by one to the working file. As for the goggles though, we will use the select subject tool to extract it from the background. But before that, let's change the setting to cloud for a better result. And then just hit on select and mask copy the settings right here and then just hit OK. Apply the mask layer and then bring it to the working file. So now we have all the required assets here. Next, we're going to group them and then command J to copy them because we always want to have backups in case we mess up later on. All right, we're going to start with the skull convert it to smart object and then size it up to about so. Make sure it is perfectly centered. And then we're going to get rid of that line on the forehead by double clicking on the layer and it will open up a new window. Then we're just going to use the spot healing brush tool to get rid of it or just hit J on your keyboard and brush it out like this. Command S to save and there we go. You know what guys, I think it'll look better mirrored. So let's flip it horizontally make sure it is centered again and then let's move on with the goggles i'm gonna size it up to about so make sure that the eyes on the skulls are covered so that it looks realistic next we're going to create two circles on the lenses where we'll add the swirl pattern which is also kind of like a trademark of hellstar so add a new layer rename it to left lens and then using the elliptical marquee tool, drag it over while holding onto the shift key on your keyboard. It'll get that perfect round circle. Now it is always never perfectly round. So right click, select transform selection, right click again, and then drag the points to match the roundness of the lens on the goggles. Hit enter and then we'll fill it in white by hitting command delete on your keyboard. We'll do the same steps again for the right lens. Now group them together and rename the group layer to lens. While we're at it, let's rename all these layers correctly. Now we're going to add the swirl layer to the lens group. Then just clip it to the lens layer like this. Copy the swirl pattern for the right lens. but this one let's flip it horizontally okay so the next few steps are very very important so don't skip anything guys first we're gonna add a black and white filter make sure it is above the goggles and skull layers only next we're gonna make the contrast of the skull stronger by using the curves tool we're gonna create the ass shape on the grid this is the like this is like the typical benchmark if you want to create strong contrast. Um, this looks good enough. Let's hit OK. Then do the same thing to the goggles, but we're going to bring up the upper point a bit since the goggle are darker by default than the skull layer. Next, let's add a drop shadow to the goggles. Make sure the blend mode is set and multiply. 
opacity is 90%, angle is 90, and 120 for distance, and then 200 for the size. Now this will cast a very realistic shadow of the goggles on the skull. All right, if you notice the composition of the goggles doesn't match the skull now we want the middle to be brighter and then towards the end of it it will be darker so to fix that we'll add a gradient overlay change the gradient to basic black and white set the style to reflect it tick reverse set the angle to zero and then the blending mode to soft light you can see just how much better it looks now compared to before but we're not done yet let's add another gradient layer like this but this time set the blending mode to multiply change the scale to 120 drop the opacity to only 55. next we're going to do the same thing to the skull layer so that it looks clean overall so go to gradient overlay up the opacity to 80 percent drop the scale to 50 then change the blending mode to soft light and that is all for the effects guys we can now start adding colors to the skull and the goggles now i'm gonna add a gradient map layer load the gradient pack included in the assets folder guys and then select this blue one right here now you can mess with the colors if you want it brighter you can just drag the light blue closer to the left if you want darker closer to the right there's no right or wrong here you can do whatever you like guys next we'll add some gradients to the lenses because right now it is completely flat there's no you know shadow or composition going on and we don't want that obviously so let's add a gradient overlay to the left lens change the gradient to black and white set the style to radial tick inverse set the blending mode to multiply and then just drag the overlay up like this let's drop the opacity to 95. next we're adding another gradient overlay this time we're gonna set the blending mode to screen but drop the scale to 90 and then the opacity to 85. after that just hit okay next just copy these effects to the right lens by dragging it to the right lens layer while holding on to the option key on your keyboard like this after that we can now add colors to the lens by adding a gradient map layer then select its mask layer and then command i to invert it to black and then go to the gradients folder once again but this time i'm going to select this pink one right here hit ok then using the soft round brush tool make sure that the opacity and the flow are both in 100 percent and the brush color is white and then just brush it over the mask layer like this to bring out the pink colors i'd say keep it within the goggles area you, you don't want to go too far on the skull then it'll mess with the realism of it but you know what guys just give it a try yourself so guys the next few final steps will be the cherry on top they are what will make the design look better at least in my opinion so pay attention create a new layer hit shift delete on your keyboard to bring up this fill window select 50 percent gray for the contents and then hit ok then go to filter noise add noise but put only 20 percent for the amount make sure that it is monochromatic and then just hit ok after that set the blending mode to overlay now if i zoom in you can see how this adds these you know finer details to the design but what will make it even better is making the noise bigger to do that just size it up to about 200 percent now you can see just how much cooler it looks this is my secret technique guys and i'm giving to you all for free so seriously guys subscribe to the channel next step is merging the design into one layer so option command e to merge them and then convert it to a smart object add gaussian blur to it as for the radius though you guys can mess with whatever amount you want personally i almost always go with 10 but for this design 8 seems to be the perfect number so let's go with that this will add that really cool fade look we're almost there guys final step is go to the filter gallery 
and then add these two filters first is the dry brush filter just copy these settings and then the second one is the grain filter again copy the settings they seem to work on every other design that i do so uh, i would say these settings are pretty universal so yeah keep them in mind Final step is getting rid of the black background because you know when you guys send it to the print shop you'll want to always make sure the design has transparent background it's extremely easy guys just go to select color range select shadows bring the fuzziness down to zero and then set the range to 30 tick invert and then hit ok and then just add a mask layer and there it is guys it's now ready for printing you can add some text here and there or below if you want to copy the hellstar design one to one but yeah that is basically it guys hope the tutorial isn't too hard for you guys if you have any questions feel free to comment below or send me a dm on instagram I always respond to my youtube comments and you know dms again subscribe for more videos like this see you on the next one